It is definitely a warm day today. It wasn't as warm as yesterday. Let's roll that intro. What is going on YouTube and how's it going today? Just getting off work and uh, heading home. The last couple days we've been in a freaking heat wave. Today is actually the first day we're, we're getting now are usually the normal temperatures we get. And I'll tell you what, it's <laughs> been freaking hot. And uh, those kind of temperatures You'd be better off to wear your leather than not wear your leather. I've seen so many guys out in blue jeans and t-shirts on their motorcycle. Real good way to get heat stroke. At least if you got your leather on, you sweat and it stays within your jacket. It doesn't all evaporate. But yeah, when it's really, really freaking hot, I can see riding around without a leather on and stuff like that for a short amount of time. But if you're going to be doing a long distance ride, leave your leather on, man. Like, it's not worth getting heat stroke over. Like, I understand you're sweating and everything, and you don't have your leather on, you're not sweating. But what's happening is your sweat is evaporating off of you, and it's not keeping you cool. And it's a really good way to get heat stroke. At least if you've got your leather on, it's uh, you actually stay much cooler. Little, you're wet underneath your jacket and your shirt holds all the wetness as the air is coming through it's actually cooling you off and you're much cooler than you, you would be if you weren't wearing a jacket you see so many guys are not wearing jackets and stuff and talking about oh they almost died in this weather it's just like well dumbass yeah you'd be better off just leaving your uh, jacket on and see if you look at my arms there the wind is going up the sleeves and down my back. Okay, so I'm sweating. I'm actually a lot cooler than I would be if I uh, had my jacket off, especially in extreme heat. Because, yeah, if you're riding around, like I say, with no jacket on, you're just looking to get uh, heat stroke. It's not a good way to ride because, hey, if you go down, you're going to get road rash. But, yeah, you get heat stroke in the middle of riding around, that can, can really affect your riding. It's just not a good thing to do, in my opinion. That's my opinion. Now, like I said, though, if you're doing a short little jaunt, that might be all right. But, man, even right now, like, I've done this ride home without my leather on before. It wasn't too, too bad, but the straps of my uh, my backpack were just beating the crap out of my ribcage. So, <laughs> I just leave the leather on. But, yeah, the weather we've had here for the last three, four days is, like, Oh, there's a good one. 20 degrees above the seasonal, above the normal. Yesterday, I was sitting at a light and my jeans were cooking the tops of my legs. It was unreal. Couldn't freaking believe it. I've never had something do like that before. Fuck. Let me get in front of this fucking guy here. Stay in that lane, but yeah, thanks, buddy. The people who take off slow from red lights, they're dumb. It's like the quicker you get through that light, the more cars make it through the light. If you just lollygag around getting through that light, that's less cars getting through the light. Well, it must have been a good wreck there. People coming around these corners are way too fast. This guy on his mountain e bike here, they like freaking guy, he just hauls the mail. So yeah, no, I'm off the main highway there. That used to be an old band house of ours, right there. Yeah, if you're gonna ride, riding in this hot weather, man, I totally 100% recommend you wear your leathers. Like I said, a lot of people say it's too hot. Well, yeah, it's too hot. I do agree with you, man, but having heat stroke's not good either. And heat stroke can affect your riding as well. It could put you in an accident, it give you a real bad day, and of course, you got no leathers, that pavement will eat you up and chew you out. We had a girl at work, she's just learning how to ride and she didn't have any proper gear. Myself and uh, another guy at work, man, told her to get some gear. 
So she went out and bought some gear and she was out riding with her dad on uh, Father's Day and uh, somebody stepped out in front of her and she panicked and grabbed a little too much brake and ended up laying her fucking bike down and uh, went down and slid along the ground and destroyed the new jacket that she bought and uh, all she could think of after that was myself and the other buddy telling her to get gear and she's like so happy that she got gear because prior to that she wasn't uh she didn't have any freaking gear she would just ride without gear on it now this is where i cooked yesterday it was right here Let's see how hot my legs get this time <laughs> i'm sitting here and the sun is baking on my jeans man i could feel it burning but yeah, she would have had some serious road rash, road rash. She wasn't wearing her gear like she used to uh, ride before. So she was pretty grateful to have that gear. Because anytime, man, you can go down. Like there's anything that can make you go down. So like I know it's hot as hell. I'm starting to sweat. But once I get moving here, that cool air, we'll get in under the jacket and then we'll feel real nice. Yeah, she gets a little warm. <laughs> Like sitting here, like trust me, like you do get warm, like it's hot. Like I'm sweating now, but I'd rather have my leather protect me and have the sweat stay on my skin instead of just evaporating in the sun. If you've never had heat stroke before, yeah. Like that guy there, man, not wearing a leather, like he's an idiot. Just a t shirt. Go down, yeah, you're fucked. Oh, look at that Cobra. Probably a kit car. Still pretty cool. So anyways, I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. You said wear your gear, especially in the heat. Follow me on Instagram if you have a like. Watch out with that like button if you like this. Stay subscribe button and we will slay it another time. Cue the music.